Hi friends, uh, welcome to Digital Tech by Vignesh Palaji. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a Truffle project and then uh, I'll give a basic introduction about Solidity and as well as the Remix ID. And finally, uh, in this video series, we are going to use Node.js for creating the APIs. So that is responsible for interacting with the uh, deployed um, smart contracts in the network. So uh, I will expose all those APIs so that uh, you can actually go ahead and interact with the uh, smart contracts that is deployed in the network using the Node.js. So we can actually uh, directly interact with the deployed smart contract without creating Node, a Node APIs also. But when it comes to the real time um, projects, right, we don't actually do that. So we will actually go ahead and create the node.js api so which is responsible for uh, interaction so uh, in that use cases like ui doesn't have direct connection with the blockchain so the so that is taken care by the backends like node.js or java or uh, whatever the backend language it is so uh, and uh, so in this video like we will see the basic uh, basics about truffle and solidity and as well as i will introduce to the remix id which is online tool where you can test the smart contracts, deploy it and uh, so most of the uh, uh, smart contract developer or solidity um, programmers they actually uh, use this uh, remix IDE for testing, deploying and uh, validating the smart contracts so I will introduce to that as well so uh, the description in the description you can find the links for the all the above whatever I have explained so please stay tuned and uh, please subscribe and um, wait for the f uh, further videos which is coming in. Uh, so let's go into the topic now. So uh, so this Truffle uh, Truffle is actually very famous uh, uh, framework for writing the small uh, solidity smart contract. So so it is actually a development environment where you can actually develop or uh, test and deploy the smart contracts as I already told. So uh, you can test and uh, you can actually uh, change the networks also in uh, uh, Remix IDE. So and also uh, so Truffles comes with a CLI tool like as you see for React, create React app or for Angular you have Angular CLI. So Truffle also comes with a CLI tool um, where you can actually create the um, projects, Truffle projects using Truffle command. We are going to see that in this video series as well and uh, the next one is the gena cli so gena cli is like a testnet where you have both uh, a desktop and then a command line tool as well for the gena cli so actually what will happen you can uh, install from the npm package gena cli and uh, when you try to run this uh, gena cli it, uh, it will actually create uh, um, 10 user accounts with the uh, ethos default 100 ethos provider for so that whenever you want to do a transaction, you can select any one of those accounts from uh, either from the uh, on the console and you can uh, do that. So that is also possible. So, uh, but this is actually the Genesis is actually for the development environment. When it comes to the real environment, we, where you actually create multiple nodes and you deploy the contracts over there. So the, yeah, as you know, it's for development. We, we are going to concentrate only on the Genesis CLA. So how to deploy the contracts. Uh, to Ganache uh, using the Truffle. So Truffle, uh, as I told, is a CLI tool. We'll have all the commands uh, for doing this. And Drizzle, like as I told you earlier, we can actually directly interact to the uh, contracts uh, without the help of Node.js using Drizzle. So Drizzle is one of kind of a React uh, implemented uh, uh, front end for Truffle. So this is Drizzle is like pretty much same as the react so you uh, you won't be finding much difference so actually uh, it is used with truffle and Drizzle where you don't need a uh, node.js api or any backend so the next thing is solidity like solidity is the uh, way or the pro uh, it's a language where you write the smart contracts there are many other ways you can write the smart contracts but the solidity is one of the very famous uh, uh, famous programming language for writing the smart contracts and um, deploying it to the network. Uh, so smart contracts like like behave uh, like governs the behavior of the contracts with the Ethereum state as well. So and if you know like uh, Solidity is a statically typed with suppose in inheritance 
and it supports like a custom defined data types it supports events and uh, complex objects as well so it is pretty much same uh, like uh, java you can say so those who have knowledge on uh, java or javascript is very easy to pick up this uh, solidity so and uh, solidity also has uh, uh, many uh, like uh, types called enums uh, numeric type inheritance date type and uh, string types booleans structs where you define your own custom uh, uh, types as well so like uh, as you see class like where you create a class so contract is the one that you can actually define a contract and uh, the first line of uh, small solidity smart contracts where you define the version like it's like pragma solidity and the version so these are the like uh, glimpse about the solidity programming language so now like uh, as i told you like i will be walking through a uh, simple solidity uh, program wherein you can actually see how it works so so let us go to that so before going to that i will introduce to this uh, truffle suit where you can uh, actually see the tools that are available as part of uh, truffle so truffle is the one like where you have the cli which to generate the projects and deploy the smart contracts and gena cli uh, as i told you like it's a testnet uh, test rpc uh, where you like actually generate a uh, one click blockchain network and drizzle frameworks so you can see um, this uh, truffle is used by many uh, good companies like microsoft consensus ey airbus amazon so and so so um, you have everything like docs tutorials everything so you can actually go ahead and see this and uh, the tutorials are pretty old but we will will have um, the latest version covering in this video series so you don't want to worry about the old tutorials if you want to go ahead and see you can try that and uh, solidity so the latest version of the solidity is 0.6.3 so uh, i will be putting a separate video series on solidity programming as well where you can see the latest uh, version of programming concepts on solidity like everything like types inheritance uh, custom defined types how to um, how to deploy it and everything so uh, i'll be putting the separate video series on solidity as well and then so this is the remix id which i was uh, mentioning earlier so here you can see um, now i will go ahead and create one contract call uh, my contract so this is the way you actually go ahead and create an uh, contract in solidity uh, sorry remix so i have created that uh, so once you create you can actually go ahead and uh, see the um, like you can walk through all those things you can you have to select the environment as solidity so then it will actually uh, give you this kind of uh, menu bar to the left side where you can select the language uh, first you have to select the uh, environment is solidity or wiper then you have to select the version so in this i'm going to select uh, 0.5.2 so in the, the video series that i'm going to put it separate you will see all the latest uh, uh, version like 0.6.3 over there and uh, so here you can see the list of contracts written and the next button is like where you can actually select the compiler version uh, and everything and here you can actually deploy and run the transaction so once you uh, deploy the smart contract which i'm going to write right you can see an abi which is like listed over here from where you can actually execute the transactions so uh, now let us define a contract over here so uh, this as i told you the version i'm going to use is uh, 0.5.2 and uh, the the first line of the code is like you have to define this uh, version of the solidity so that is pragma solidity 0.5.2 and then i'm going to define a contract so this is the way you can actually define a contract so make sure that the file name and the contract name are same so in most cases like if you don't match that it will be a problem so now i'm going to define uh, so what what i'm going to do is part of this um, contract is that i'm going to define a struct called person uh, which has a first name and last name and we are going to add that uh, person into an um, person array uh, which is nothing but a, a struct 
extract which been uh, added to that particular people array and we will actually going to uh, uh, we going to have the state called people count where you will have the count of number of peoples been added to that particular array so first let us define a struct where uh, so struct or custom defined types where you can actually add the um, the defined number of uh, types actually so in this we are going to have a string of which has which is going to have the first name so first name uh, then we are going to have the last name as well so last name so we have defined a struct now person so uh, as i told you we are going to maintain the count as well so i am going to define an event integer so you have to define as a 256 and 256 nothing but the bat and uh, people count so i'm uh, defining it as a people count so after that we are going to um, define the peoples array uh, that is nothing but where you are going to insert the uh, struct call person so how you define this like person of array which is in, which is should be the same name as the struct and it should be public so where public means you can uh, any other contract where you can actually access this uh, variables which is defined inside here so now you can see i have defined a struct i have defined a people count and i have defined a struct person uh, which is in a, sorry array structs like where you can have multiple per persons inside that particular um, array so now i am going to have a function called add add people so where are you going to add the people so it will take two parameters like one is uh, um one is the first name and another is the last name so so it is coming like this so string memory so memory uh, you have to whenever you are uh, going to pass an um, str string as a parameter you should um, you should actually um, mention it as memory so memory is like an uh, uh actually using memory is somewhat costly because it takes lot of gas so so you can name it as something different but for this is the first smart contract right so i'm using it so uh, i'm going to push into the people's people array like the first name and the last name and as well as i'm going to um, set the people count so i'm going to increment it by 1 so plus equal to 1 so this is how you actually define a smart contract so this is a very basic level of smart contract so now we will compile the smart contract so you can see the compile my smart contract dot sol dot button right so you click on that if you face any errors over here you will actually get this so uh, actually what it's saying is that you have to mention it like this okay it's a spelling mistake so so whenever you try to compile uh, uh, do it like this so it will be uh, so and we will also make this as a public so that it can be accessible over the time so what it is asking did you intend to add public so yeah i added it as public now the error is gone and then after that um, okay uh, we forgot to push into that person's uh, struct right so it should be like this person because it is a struct where you have to uh, assign it to the struct first then you have to push it to the people array so this is how you do it like uh, so you whenever you define struct first you have to actually uh, define it to uh, like you have to assign it to the struct then you have to push it to an array or whatever it is you are doing now i think you, the errors are gone we are going to compile it so you can see you can see the uh, there is no errors actually but uh, so now it has been successfully compiled now we will deploy this uh, to the particular address so i am going to deploy with the first um, first account address so i am going to click on the button deploy so when uh, when you see uh, when you when i click on deploy it will actually creating a contract so and you can see this logs as well 
so you can see the transaction as contract address from to how much gas is required how much transaction cost is involved everything so now when you uh, actually expand this uh, deployed smart contract you can see that uh, like the function which is declared add people and the people like uh, people means like where you get this uh, array so first i am going to uh, input my name like vignesh balaji and going to hit the button transact so it uh, is you can see uh, the transact to my contract that add people spending and it is successful you can see the logs as well here so that's how it is and when you click on the people so you can see the like how many uh, people are there like the, the inputted people currently that is vignesh balaji so that is what it is so this is how you basically um, write a smart contract and deploy it so so in the next video series we are going to create one project where i am going to write a smart contract in a similar way like this and i am going to execute it for you and then we are going to put that smart contract into a truffle project and then we are going to start a gena cli after uh, starting the gena cli i am going to uh, migrate and deploy I compile and migrate that to the gena cli after that we are going to write that uh, node js uh, api and we will directly interact with that um, test our pc or the gena cli so uh, so please stay tuned to the next videos and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like so thanks for your time guys see you in the next video